Jesus is saying, he's using the example of a bowl. Who in their right mind would take a dirty bowl, clean the outside of it, and then clean the inside of it? Because what happens when you do that? The inside drains out on the outside. Exactly. And that's terrible. Then you have to rewash the outside. Check this out. When Jesus is washing your sins away, he's washing you from the inside out. And why would he do that? Why? That's right. In Matthew uh, 15, 18, it says, But the things that comes, from, comes out of the pal- person's mouth comes from the heart, which defiles them. The reason Jesus cleans you from the inside out is because what's in your heart is what defiles you. It's what, it's what makes you bad. So as Jesus is cleaning your heart, the outward expression or the outward way that you live begins to slowly change. And then you become a different person from the inside out. And your sins, just, they pour out of your heart and they, and they get cleansed and they get removed from you. And yeah, there might be some painful times. And there might be some hardships you go through through your growth of, of being a follower of Christ. But as Christ is cleaning the inside of your heart out, your sins and the rich, wretchedness and the darkness and the, and the lawless is, is pouring out of you and coming off of you. And it's just running off of you. And your heart is being cleansed by Jesus' blood from the inside out. Because if Jesus was to wash your outside first, you truly wouldn't be fixed. You wouldn't be okay. You'd still have those things that continually pull you back towards either Satan or back towards the things that were disturbing you or upsetting you, like loneliness or, or maybe it was a, a, a abuse. Maybe you're abused or an addiction. When you don't get clean from the inside out, you could be drawn back to those things. Because if the inside's dirty, eventually the outside will get dirty again. But if you've cleaned the inside, there's no way the outside can get dirty. The inside's clean. 